going to do now, we're going to start blocking in here the volume of the um, cinematic rendering right, of the figure. So um, the height of the head, of course, is one. We have that, and this is established. The width of the head, the width of the head could be anywhere between two thirds and three quarters. So we just had to decide what we want to use, and I like I like two thirds, right? It's totally arbitrary. So I have the line of one third here, right? I have the measurement one third here. I take one third and put one third here, one third here, and then here, and then here. But now I don't want to use the ruler anymore. I just want to do it freehand, right? So let's double check it just a second. This is two thirds, two thirds, right? And that is exactly two thirds, so that's good. I want to start using freehand, uh, working drawing freehand, because I want to practice also my precision in drawing. So it's going to be um, fun, actually. So that is the head. And you see, I'm using the red pencil because I want the figure to stand out in relation to uh, the grid. Right? Otherwise, you're going to get confused which one is the line which one are, are the lines of the box and which one are the lines of the grid, right? Now we block in the uh, rib cage. The width of the rib cage in male is um, one and a quarter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, write down here the, uh, the numbers, right? One and a quarter for the width of the rib cage. So I have one here, right? And, um, I can add now, actually I could do, I could do this. I have had that, oh, that's fine. So I have one and then I go down at the base of the quarter, I come up with this and that's one and a quarter. Instead of doing a two halves, I just do one measurement. You're gonna speed up now and eyeball. I want to eyeball the space here and to see they are the same. And I mark here and here, do the same thing down here, right? And I also can come down here for the width of the pelvis because in men, this is a man, the width of the pelvis is the same as the width of the rib cage. But I don't want to draw a one continuous line because the rib cage will not start at the level of the head. We we'll start lower. So as you can see, and this helped to explain um, this, 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 uh, this type of proportion. Um, this is the back of the rib cage. So that here, that's the back of the rib cage. The back of the rib cage is higher than the front of the rib cage. So I'm going to have a slanted plane. So when I draw uh, this measurement here, the highest is the back of the rib cage, and this, the space between the chin and the back of the rib cage, is about one eighth. It's small, one eighth of a head. The front is about one third, right? So. Um, I can measure this, right? One eight.